Now we are ready to work on Word Module 1, SAM Project A. So we're going to come here in Blackboard. I'm going to click to launch. Yours doesn't automatically launch. Again, if it doesn't open, make sure your pop-up blocker is turned off. And also make sure you don't have another MindTap tab open up here. Those are usually the two main reasons. So I'm going to start. And I have an instruction file I've already downloaded, so I'm not going to download that. I have a starter file, and then I have a support file. So I'm going to click here on the support file and download it here. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And you'll see it opens up. To a graduation hat. It opened up on my other screen. Let me bring it over here. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to right click on this. I'm going to save as. And I'm going to save this picture in my picture file. Where did it go? Oh, my print. There we go. And I'm just going to put this in my picture file. You can see I already have it here. And save. That way I can find it later. And now my starter file. So I'm going to click here on my starter file. It's going to open up down here in the bottom left hand corner. And I'm going to open it up. And here is my file. It opened up in protected view. I just need to click enable editing and now I can start making the changes to my document. Remember, you cannot complete this in Google Docs. You need to use Microsoft Office. So the first thing it says is uh, open up the file. Then we're going to save the file uh, with the same SC information. I go to file. I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to browse so I can find the location where I want to save my files. And again, I just recommend that you always save them in the same place. For this particular class, I'm going to come up to my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder for CED 115 Summer 2020. And in this case, I need to name it your name should automatically show up here. So mine shows up with Linda Sessions, and I'm going to change the one to a two. That's the only change I'm going to make. I'm going to make sure I have this folder up here, Sessions 2, and save. Now I'm ready to start making my changes. The other thing you want to do is come down here and check your footer and make sure your footer says this file created specifically for you. Your name should show up here. If it doesn't, um, you need to download it again and make sure you're using your logon for Blackboard and not somebody else's. So now we're ready to go to the project steps. You work in a financial aid department at Avery University and are creating flyer to advertise upcoming financial aid workshops. Begin by making the following changes to the document theme and the theme colors to match other documents from the financial aid department. So we're going to change our document theme to office. So over here at Blackboard, I've got my design. Let me go to my design tab. Here's my themes. First thing I need to do is come over here and make sure it's the office theme. So I'm going to change the document theme colors to red. So once I have my document changed, I can come over here to my theme colors. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to change my margins to narrow. So I come up here to layout. So I'm going to find my margin information and I'm going to change it to narrow. So I can fit all of my information on one page. Now I'm going to make my picture here more eye-catching and suitable. I'm going to resize the picture to a height of 2.5 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click to select the picture. 
I'm going to come up here to my picture format tab. Over here on the height, I'm going to change the height to 2.5. I'm going to apply the picture style right here. I want center, shadow, rectangle. I'm going to apply the glow. So I'm going to come up here to my picture effects. I'm going to go down to glow. I want the five point brown accent color six. Just have to move my Color six. It's kind of have to move your mouse around till you find the right one. I'm going to go ahead and save my file since I, I've already have it named and I know where I have it saved. I'm just going to come up here to this little icon right up here. Save to save it. Now I'm going to draw attention to the flyer's headline paragraph. Financial aid workshop. So right here, I've got financial aid workshop. Here's my heading. I am going to change the paragraph spacing before to 12 point. Now there's a couple different ways to do that. I'm going to show you the way that I usually do it, but please know there's usually more than one way to do everything in Word. I'm going to go here to the, on the Home tab, the paragraph, I'm going to click on this uh, box diagram box launcher here. And I'm going to come up here, my spacing, I want to change that before to 12 point. I want to change the spacing after to six point. Click OK. I want to change the case to uppercase. So right here, I have my change case option. I'm going to click on this arrow, and I'm going to change it to uppercase. And I'm going to change the font size to 28. Now I'm ready for step number five. I'm going to copy the text Avery University from the heading paragraph here in financial aid. Copy the text Avery University from the heading paragraph beginning financial aid department at the top of the page and then paste it in the blank paragraph after the financial aid workshops headline. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to get this Avery University right here, and I'm going to copy it, and right down here in this blank line underneath financial aid workshops, I'm going to paste it. That's your uh, paste options box, and it'll go away when we first type our next item in here. We're going to bold the date Monday, November 8th. So I'll highlight that text and then bold so that it looks the same as all the other dates in our document. And now we're going to create a bullet list. We're going to start, let me see the right one here, create a bulleted list beginning with the paragraph Monday, November 8th at 7 p.m. and ending with individual meetings at 4 p.m. So we're going to take this right here, and we're going to make that a bulleted list. Here are my bullets. Then we're going to add the words requesting to the paragraph beginning that the workshops present. guidelines for requesting these. We're going to add requesting and the following types of financial aid. We're going to italicize the test text often with interest in the loans. So here, often with interest, we want to italicize that so people see that. We're going to delete the unnecessary sentence, jobs are usually available on campus under the work study. 
So we're just going to highlight that and then hit our delete key on our keyboard to get rid of them. We're going to emphasize the workshop list from the paragraph beginning grants. Clear down to the work study. So we're going to highlight all of those lines. So we're going to select all that text. We're going to change the font of the text to Trevige MS. And I don't have it on my machine, so I'm going to have to go find it. So for right now, let's just make this the Timsu San ITC. And I'll show you how to fix that here in a minute. We're going to change the font color to dark red. So right here's our font color. And we want dark red, accent one, darker 25%. Then we want to get some information to our web address here in the bottom. We're going to remove the hyperlink. So we're just going to right click on it and remove hyperlink. And we want to make this orange. So I'm going to highlight this text. I want to make it orange accent two. I'm going to select that. And this complete financial aid sentence, we're going to center that line. We're going to apply paragraph shading. So we're going to use this little paint can right here. And we want darker red, accent one, lighter 80%. It's going to shade that whole paragraph. And then here at the bottom of the page, we're going to add a picture. So we're going to go to insert. And we're going to go to picture. And this is where we're going to find that um, graduation hat that we found. Put that in my pictures here. Yeah. And I'm going to insert. Going to resize this picture to a height of one inch. And I'm going to finish the flyer by adding a page border. So I'm going to deselect the picture. I'm going to come up here to paragraph or this in the paragraph section. I've got my borders symbol. I'm going to go to my borders and shading. I'm going to go to box. I want the dotted page border. I want it to be brown accent five. And I want to make it one and a half point. Make sure it's the dots. One and a half point. I'm going to say OK. Oh, and I just added it around the paragraph. So I'm going to come back up here to my border and shading instead of the paragraph. It changes to box. I want it around the page. So I need to cancel that. I'm going to do my undo button. Go to my design tab, and over here is my page borders. Now I'm going to select the dots, brown, one and a half, and apply the whole document. So you want to make sure they're around the whole document. So the page border is underneath the design tab.
So now I'm going to view my document, make sure everything's on one page. Now it looks right. And I'm going to save it. And I'm going to close it. And now I'm ready to submit it for a grade in Blackboard. So to do that, I'm going to hit continue. Click here to or I'm going to upload. So I'm going to click on upload right here. I'm going to find that file. Remember, I put it in my desktop. I had a folder for summer 2020. Here's my document. Open. And if I get a green check mark, then I've got the right one. I'm going to submit. And I can view my report. Click on this to view my report. And it lets me know that I got a score 94 out of 100. So I can read through here, read through my report, find out what I did wrong. And in this case, it was changing the font. I have to go back and download the fonts. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a Google search, Trebuchet MS font. Chances are you already have yours on there. And then I also have a problem with my text effect. So I'm going to read through here, go back to my document, make the change, open my document up, make the changes, and then resubmit it to improve this grade. Now, if I'm happy with my 94 out of 100, I can just leave it. You don't have to make any changes. But if you're not happy with your score, you're going to read through this report and to make changes and then resubmit. You can resubmit up to 10 times. Now, if you have questions about your scores, you need to send me a copy of your, um, your score report and let me know what your question is, and I can help you out with that. So contact me by remind if you have any questions, and good luck.